So today I'm going to show you how to use your yarn cozy um, with a center pull yarn and this is a nice um, hefty size uh, cake of yarn. It's Cascade 220 which is a great little yarn to use. Um, super wash so it's good for those um, donation projects, you know hats for kids, um, scarves, things like that. I just just really like Cascade 220 for those reasons. It's easy to use, take care of, um, especially if you're gifting it and you know the poor mama you don't have to worry about her having to hand wash things for the kids. So anyway I always recommend Cascade 220 for those sorts of things. Um, okay so on to our project. So I have a Yarn Cozy pack of three and I've chosen to use the um, I call them the mix lovey hearts so it's a pink with yellow uh, white with pink and black with a uh, pink and I really just love this combination I'm gonna use the black one for our example today and you know you can decide to keep your yarn cozies um, on your little skeins you can just cut right along here and keep it in your knit bag like that but you don't need to um, it's like a stocking so you just pull it right off uh, leaving it on won't make it stretch out. Taking it off won't hurt it either. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put these away. And let's go ahead and look at our center pole yarn. So I've um, gone ahead and loaded this um, from a, a skein or a, a hank of yarn onto uh, put it on a swift and then a ball winder. So it's nice and lofty and that's one of the important things to remember when you're winding your yarn is make sure there's plenty of room for it to breathe. Even if you think you're going to get your project done right away, it's just nicer for the yarn to have that extra space. Um, sometimes it's not so easy to find that center, which is an imp uh, important reason why when you're winding your yarn to give yourself plenty of room so that you don't lose track of this little tail. Um, I like center pull. I use both outside or center either way, but I tend to navigate to the center pull. So here I am, and here's my little um, stocking or yarn panties as somebody referred to it this weekend. Um, so does this fit onto this? Well certainly it'll fit onto this and it'll fit onto a much bigger skein. I have some Schaefer yarn that's huge and it fits just nicely. So just like a stocking I want to give myself plenty of room. I'm going to go ahead and go around the bottom and let me grab it on. Here I go. I'm going to give myself lots and lots of room. Snug it on here. Oops, I need to cut my nails. Here we go. Snug it. Here we go. And voila, here I am, all nice and snuggly on my yarn. Um, well, maybe I'm a little off center, but that doesn't really matter in the end, actually. Um, and it'll even go bigger. So this is just an example. Um, pulling it on. Of course, I'm on camera, so don't get it right the first time. There we go. Here I am. So, isn't that pretty? Now, what's going to happen is my yarn's going to stay nice and neat. It's very pretty. And, um, of course, I didn't lose track of that. Very important piece. Um, as I start to use up my yarn, it's just going to hug it all the way down until there's there's none left. And the idea behind this is it's not going to fall out. Um, it's not going to get dirty. If I drop it, it's not going to roll around. Um, another really cool thing is because you're using inside pull, you can actually take the little label that or the band that was on the yarn and um, fold it up and put it here. Sometimes I keep projects on needles for a long time and I will forget, oh yeah, what colorway was that, what, what was the number, you know, things like that. So that's one way to keep track of it and um, just store it right here on the inside inside easy. So now it just pulls out. Easy to go. Um, if I make a mistake and I need to, oh look at this, oh now I need to wind it around, it's really easy. I don't have to take it all the way off. I can just lift it down like that and then I just wind it about on the outside like this. I got caught on a little velcro down here. Here we go. Like that. Da -da -da. Keep track of my tail so I don't lose it. Bam, there I am. And then just snug it right back over the top. That simple. So that when I'm knitting, I can pull out this on the side because you can side pull if it's wound up like that, just as easy as top pull. Here I am. 
Now I can wind it out like this until I get to the center, which won't take too much here. I didn't pull out very much. Here we go. Here I am, and now I'm back to the center again. That simple. And um, I like to keep my the hole at the top pretty closed as much because the yarn sometimes wants to um, snake its way up because it gets all lofty and it, as it should so there I am so this is it that's your yarn cozy um, I really really recommend using one using you know there's a lot of benefits to using your yarn cozy over um, an elastic around the outside that band or um, even um, you know pantyhose which is what I used to use or um, a ziploc bag and and you really see that way as you get to closer to the end of your project um, as it starts to hug down so anyway I hope you really enjoy it um, if you have questions go ahead and email me I'm at Buffy B-U-F-F-Y at Buffy and Designs or you can always check out our website at www.buffyanddesigns.com um, and we look forward to chatting with you